You can organize your messages by assigning them into color categories. How that works is you can come up here on the Home tab, go to the Tags group, and with one of the messages selected below, come up and click on Categorize, and, well, it's not going to have Fancy Pants and all these names here. The generic names will be like Green Category, Red Category, Blue Category, and so if you want to go ahead and just stick with that, you can select it, and it says in this case, this is the first time you've used the green category. Do you want to rename it? Of course I do. How about to apple picking? I can leave it at that color or click on the drop down arrow and choose another color like I'll do red. And then the shortcut key, if I want to assign to it, click on the drop down arrow. And I could say, well, control F2 and then say yes. And it says, um, this is being used by another category. Are you sure you want to reassign it? Yes. And then there you go, apple picking. Hey, well, if you can't see it there, then you may not have the column available. And if you don't have it available, you can watch my training video on how to sort, group, add, and remove columns. And if it is there, but you can't entirely see it, well, just hover over in between the two column headers, and then, well, that's going to shrink it up. You can click and drag it back out to see it. And there you go, apple picking. And when you assign enough categories to each one of these email messages and you want to be able to group them together by category, like let's go ahead and right click on this one, left click on apple picking and right click on that one, do also apple picking. Well, you can come up here, right click on any one of the column headers and go down to view settings and you can do group by, click on the drop down arrow, choose categories, click OK, click OK and all the apple picking items are together. Well, that's fun. And then let's go ahead and clear that out. Right click, go back to view settings, and then group by. Let's go ahead and clear it all. Click OK, click OK. We're back to where we started. And then to go ahead and clear these categories, you can right click here and you get the option to add more than one category to it, like ghost hunting, and then right click, and also add fancy pants. I mean, you can get quite a few categories assigned to the email message. Of course, you can right click on it and deselect them one at a time, right click, or do clear all categories at once, in which case it clears it all out. You can also right click and go down to all categories, which you can also get to the same window. Let me click cancel. And by coming up here on the home tab, I'm going to the tags group, click on categorize, and there you go, all categories. Go ahead and open it up. And then from here you can rename any of these, like from ghost hunting, click rename to, let's click over here, investigation. Let's go ahead and hit enter. You can rename them. You can also delete them, like what's fancy pants? Let's delete that one. And it says, are you sure? Deleting this category removes it from your category list, but does not affect your previously categorized items. What that means is that if I had fancy pants assigned to, well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's say no, and let's assign it to right click, right click here, fancy pants, which by the way, when you double click and open up an email message, there's fancy pants. You can't miss it, the category. You can right click on it there and clear the fancy pants for all categories. If you had additional categories, like let's go ahead and add apple picking. So now I have two. I can right click on fancy pants and deselect that one or clear all of them. In any case, we got the categories assigned there, so we'll leave fancy pants there, and then go ahead and close out. So now we have two there. Fancy pants is one of them, so again, if I come up here, click on categorize to all categories, and I say I'm done with fancy pants, and I go ahead and delete it, and it's going to remove the category from the master list, but not from the message that it's currently assigned to. So I say yes, and it says not in the master category, so it's not here. It's just a ghost saying, ooh, I'm just here because it's already been assigned to a message. I'm not going to remove it until you manually do it yourself. So if I click OK, OK. So it looks like it's been removed, right? But if I right-click on it and go down to all categories, it's still there to let you know that it once used to be this category, even though it's not actually showing up in the categories. So that way, you got a little bit of tracking, as it were, in case if you accidentally deleted the category, and you're like, oh no, it's really important that I had those email messages tagged with that category. So as long as you actually don't clear it from here, you'll still have record of it, even though it's not showing up there. It's just not in the master category list that, let me click cancel, that when I right-click on another email message, 
and I go down to all categories, you see Fancy Pants isn't there. It's not in the master list, it's just that it's going to be tied to the other email message until I clear it out. And then with all these categories being assigned to these email messages, I can go ahead and group them by category. So if I right click on the header bar and go down to view settings or you know come up here click on the view tab go to the current view click on view settings then I can go to the group by and say I want to group them by categories alrighty click OK OK there you go all three group by the category apple picking well that's fun who won by fancy pants and that's not in there but I never cleared it out so if I right click on it and I go to all categories and I uncheck fancy pants and I click OK. OK, he's no longer part of that separate fancy pants group. And then of course I can you know right click, go to view settings, group by, and clear all, and OK, and OK, and we're back to where we started. And Apple Picking doesn't have anything to do with that, so right click and we'll just unselect Apple Picking or right click and clear all categories. But right click there, ghost hunting, ghost investigation, yeah, that's the category that we can assign to that. As well as right click, ghost hunting. Don't forget, you can also sort by categories. Just click on it, and it's sorted. The ghost hunting's together, the apple picking, and all the others that don't have a category assigned to it. Let's go ahead and go back to received, so we can go back to where we had it before we sorted by categories. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.